Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for November 14th of 2024 is titled IC 348 and Barnard 3. So what do we see here? Well, here we are looking toward the constellation of Perseus and the bright star just a little bit to the left of center is known as Omicron Persei. And that is one of the stars, one of the brighter stars within the constellation. And we can see it here surrounded by a bluish glow. Now that blue glow is caused by the dust around the star. So when a hot star has formed, sometimes there is dusty material left over from its formation that surrounds it. And that can be out to a distance of many light years. The energy from that star, if it's a hot star, will be primarily in the blue color, the blue and the violet. And as that light travels off, it is scattered off of the dust grains, giving us the distinct blue color of what we call a reflection nebula around the star here. Now we can also see just a little bit below that a star cluster, in fact, a very young star cluster known as IC 348. And that's just a little bit down and below that the Omicron Persei. Now up to the upper right hand side of the image, we see some of the dark dust around there. So the same kind of dusty little clumps of material that are around the star to the left but at a higher concentration. So the lower concentration of them around the star gives us the reflection nebula, the darker, heavier concentration of them up to the upper right actually gives us what we call a dark nebula blocking out the light from behind it. So those dark areas are not an absence of material, but a presence of excess material. And we can also see around that same region the emission nebula and that is the red glow of hydrogen gas. This is also caused by hot stars and those hot stars when they form do emit a lot of ultraviolet light and that ultraviolet light will ionize hydrogen gas around them. When that hydrogen gas is ionized that means the electrons are stripped off of it so we now just have a proton. And then that proton will recombine with a, an electron in the nebula. And as it does, it will go through various different energy levels. And a pro, each of those energy levels will give off a specific wavelength of light. And a prominent wavelength in the visible portion of the spectrum for hydrogen is red. So we see that red color there associated also with star formation. So really all of these are showing us a little bit about star formation and that includes the dusty areas which would be the very beginnings of star formation and the emission and reflection nebulas in the red and blue colors that we see that are also part of a star forming region. So those are all signs of star formation here that we see in the constellation of Perseus. So that was our picture of the day for November 14th of 2024. It was titled IC 348 and Barnard 3. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.